what is going on guys today we are looking at Smolarek, the 88 polish striker coming in at about 373 at the moment he's looking decent rapid and press proven two decent play style pluses or at least i'm not lying for one of them rapid's going to be phenomenal but the press proven uh, we'll see I, I like the rapid at the minimum so that's absolutely fine great pace dribbling shooting all looking above board for this card we have got him as well at in the team now apparently so we have got him now in the team we've got him as a four star four star left foot high medium five seven can also play left wing as well which is always nice to have that ability for a position change so it isn't necessarily that he plays there but he can go in to get chemistry pace shooting looking good dribbling brilliant I'd, i'll absolutely take that passing below average as expected for a striker decent amount of physicality 86 across the board is fine and 85 heading we're obviously going for Feyenoord as his team so he is in the air divisi as of today if they win two matches then obviously he gets a one upgrade and if they do manage to get 11 then he gets the second meaning he could reach the potential of a 90 an 89 or he could just stay as an 88 he has had an upgrade for the week for i believe he was a three star three star now he's a four four that's always good in my books. And in terms of play style pluses, he's gained the rapid, which is nice. So he already had the press proven. It is what it is. But I like the rapid at the minimum with him. He's got technical first touch, quick step, relentless, and also power header. So let's just jump straight into him. 350 for the price. I'd say it's not terrible. If your team's looking like this, then I have the place for you. Head over to U7Buy for all your coin needs. They're cheap, fast, and reliable. But make sure to use JT11 at the checkout for 6% off all of your coin orders. I must admit, I have not seen a single thing from Schmollerek in this game. He has literally not been on the ball once. And I don't know if that's just purely down to the game and, and kind of... Oh, that's a great ball. I don't know if it's just not having him. Like Mbappe normally steals a lot of the spotlight on games anyway, which is to be expected. But it'd be an interesting one to see how he could actually play. He's got the rapid that, that should do the business. Can we go a ball over the top? Passing-wise, he's not going to have as much. as It's what we can kind of expect from a striker anyway. I'm never... Re Ooh, good fake. Ooh, and again, nearly... There it is. Oh, he's got to have the run as well. It's not, it's not even going to happen. I don't know why he stopped running. It's the most infuriating thing. When you see a player, they give you the arms, they get the movement, and then literally, I swear it's like the moment they kind of imagine your finger's going to press A or Y or whatever you pass with, they're like, ah, nah, I'm all right. Get that touch on the round side. It's got to be a cross goal, and that's a finish and a half. It's exactly what we like from him. I think the big thing, and I've seen it with Brolin, I've seen it with Smolarek, and also with Valer, I'm pretty sure as well. Having that weak foot, the skill move upgrade, a lot of them were a four-star, three-star, whereas obviously with Smolarek, he was a three-three. So it's an even bigger upgrade for him, the fact that he has now got a four-four. Go for the little one more. Oh, I was hoping for a bit more. He's going to go back to him. Smolarek across. I uh, just can't quite get the ball off him. Rolfo doing the business, gets the touch. Can she go for the little finesse? <laughs> I mean, I was trying. Well, she got 85 shooting. I mean, it's not terrible shooting. She is a perfect box-to-box -box whenever it comes to looking at the stats. I just think the agility balance could do with a little bit of an upgrade. And especially if she does manage to get at least two of the upgrades. What on earth was I doing there? It's going to be a, it's a, it's only a yellow. But even if she just get just a double upgrade, that is going to be a card well worth doing. Is he going to go the same? No, he's not. Now, the question of 350, is he worth that much? Obviously, the Rapids going to put a great perspective on the card. Good left stick. Can we go near post? Trying it. Definitely got a good upgrade. from I think from most of them, the base to whatever form they're at now. It's, it's definitely a step up, which is, is exactly what we want from these cards. Can we squeeze it? Dash him with a good save again. But in terms of them, I'm really happy with what he's got there. So that for me is a big dub in itself. The fact that they are upgradable is, is something we've got to always play as much as we can off the value because th there is a chance that they get a double upgrade there's a chance that they get none so the question really is is a are you willing to take the gamble of him being upgraded but then also is he okay 
if he doesn't get upgraded because some of them won't I, I guarantee some won't get the upgrade maybe there's some that, that are, should be likely to and just don't in general and I feel like smaller act with Feyenoord Again, I don't know how they're doing in terms of a team. I, I'd imagine they're very much on and off form. Uh, again, without really looking at too much into their fixtures and how they, they're kind of coping under the pressures of the Eredivisie, I wouldn't even be able to tell you if it's a likely chance of him getting an upgrade. The one thing I do know, the Rapid Plus is always a great play star plus. Seems like he's got a, a good grip on actually... Oh, that was close. A good grip on his pace, his shooting. Passing is is doable. I'm not saying it's going to be phenomenal because it most definitely isn't, but it's definitely manageable for a striker. Then the main other thing is going to be his dribbling. And I think, again, he's proven the left stick is decent. He's managing to get round people. He's holding the ball off. I can't see where this card can't be too much of an issue if you are obviously looking for more of a striker of a cheap nature. He's not like he's millions of coins. Is he got a free kick on him? That's going to be the big question. He has got power more than anything. Do you reckon we could? Is he, he's not even going to move the keeper, is he? We've got no free kick accuracy, but we'll give it a go. Press proven. Oh, crossbar. And Grincha. Great ball into Smolarek. Get the rapid. Nice. Get on the inside. Oh, nearly. Good play. Keeper came out on a perfect time there, I must admit. Not a lot you can do there. He's going to win it back, though. Get that touch. Nice. Seconds on the inside. Turn. Oh, my God. Get the tackle. There it is. Go for the pass. And again, to <laughs> try and pass through somebody. So in terms of Smolarek, is he worth it? He's an 88, 87 in form, an 85. In terms of price, and we're looking at 375, I don't think it's a terrible card. In terms of strikers now, especially when we look at the hero cards, there is definitely now a, a big upgrade on them from Brolin to obviously, I think Papin managed to get one as well. If we can kind of find, because they really haven't had that much of an upgrade really from the bases to now we've obviously had the ucl heroes the triple threat the fantasy and i think is that it is that literally all the heroes i feel like there should be more but i literally we've had more icons than we had anything so that must be about it then if we go and apply that we should be able to see the strikers from now we're obviously not looking at the top ones because tevez um my mind's gone blank. Who else? Tevez, Ginola, I suppose, is obviously one that can play there. And all the rest are at a, a crazy rate. Like We're looking at the kind of 500 to 100k max. You're looking at your Diego Forlan SBC. Futra as a striker, if you really wanted to put him there. Smolarek, Di Natale, Voler, Brolin's new card. I, no, he's not. I think he's one away from an upgrade now. Govu's not a bad shout either. I don't think there's any lower. I, I do think the bases are pretty much done. But like we said in the review, it's nice now that we're getting the four-star, four-star on anybody because it is just a progression of what they needed. Three-star weak foot is definitely not a thing anymore. I would always like a 5-5 five, five if possible. But I think with a lot of them as well, the rapid plus is going to be brilliant. We've obviously got rapid press proven versus rapid and trickster. I cannot believe he's 126k as well. That is a phenomenal price. You go for a, a Brolin, a Smolarek pairing, I'd be pretty happy with that for what? Four, just say 500 and call it square. I'd say that's pretty good for two hero strikers, both with a rapid plus, both with phenomenal shooting. That's definitely not terrible at all. Even throw Voler in there as well. I do think he's a great upgrade. When it comes to this SBC, I'm thinking... Are Feyenoord actually doing anything? That's going to be the biggest question because that is who is representing him. So if we go into the fixtures of Feyenoord, we are looking at, where are they in the table? They are second, good shout. They've won their last four, which is even better. So we are going against, okay, one, two, three, four. Straight off the bat, that's not bad. So we've got ninth, eighth, 18th good shot and 14th i mean that's a pretty good run for him he's got to get the 11 goals and the two wins the two wins looks likely in their last they've got say we go by league one two 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 it doesn't look like a lot of high scores we got a four against the team last time away from home as well so that's again a great shout if they can do that again so 
that's looking likely. Thank God that they don't have Ajax the time before. Where even Ajax? Fifth. So it does look like it is possible for them. If he was to get the double upgrade, I think that's a brilliant SBC. 375 isn't bad at all. You can grind that out pretty easily. The problem will be is how many SBCs we've got. Rolfo coming in at six, uh, well, 620, give or take. Carvalho coming in at 750. We have Werner coming in at 520, who could now be, well, now is going to be upgraded. And then let alone that, a 2.9 mil Janola as well. And also an icon SBC play, player pick that has team of the year icons in it. There's just so much going on. I feel like with Rolfo, like I said at the end of her review by the 17th we'll know if she's a won the two games in a row and also how many goals they'll have i know she's out in injury so it's just a bit unfortunate for her there where smaller isn't required to play thank god so he can potentially get the two wins by that time because we got 13 days so he's got to the 17th we would what game would we know we'd know the same would have been on that second match by then so we'd obviously have the uh Oh, no, he's today. Oh, okay. No, in fact, he's got today. I'm pretty sure it's from the third. They played PSV, so they technically drew their first match. They did get two goals, so he's not actually got Utrecht. Uh, he's not actually got that 18th team anymore. He's got Utrecht as his final, so we would know the two games already. So we'd be on the, would be basically finished the third by the time the SBC's finishing. So we'd know how close they are to the 11 wins, and if they've already got the two, they've won their next two matches. So again, whether you wanna wait and see how it goes, that could be the, the, the kind of rule with these. They're a little bit more expensive, but you could save the fodder, keep 13 days on the calendar, and then potentially see if he's gonna get the upgrade as well. Plenty of X accounts are keeping hold of what these cards are getting upgraded by as well and what are the chances. So make sure you're following all of them. I think he's definitely worth looking at a minimum. If you do wait till the time and you can see he goes to at least an 89, I'd say even if he stays at an 88, he's pretty much worth it. The Rapid Plus is a great addition. If he manages to get an upgrade for me, that's an even better process. So let me know down below what you think and I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.